Hey YouTube, this is Onyx coming at y'all with an update on our twinsies. Um, they actually just got their shots today and for that being said, um, they did very good with the shots and me and Michelle took them to go get the shots this morning. They've been a little fussy. Um, let's see, where do I begin? Well, I uploaded a video walking in, getting ready to have surgery to deliver the twins. Um, they were born. Baby A was three pounds, 11 ounces, and baby B was four pounds four ounces but today both of them are eight pounds or more eight let's see Catalea was eight pounds one ounce and symphony was eight pounds six ounces so they're doing really good with the weight gain the only problem that we're having with them is the fact that Catalea and Symphony have sensitive skin, which all of my children do. And but Catalea has more so like a, a all over body rash. We don't use anything but Aveeno on them. All of our wipes are natural or shea butter or aloe, um, no fragrance. Um, and we only use dress baby. Um, laundry soap and then we wash our clothes in that too being that we hold them um and bed sheets and everything so we're trying <sighs> excuse me we're trying um dove and a different formula because they're on soy formula so our doctor recommend that we try a different formula with them this weekend um so we will see how that goes. Um, how the family has been taking the babies. Uh, our oldest, she's been doing very good. She's a very big helper. She makes bottles. And when I say make bottles, we have uh, the Formula Pro. She puts the butt, push the buttons and measure. It warms up the water and everything. Thank you. Um, it warms up the water, so the bottle is already pre-measured and everything. She puts the bottle on there, she pushed the button, and it comes out, and we're good. Um, Chandre, our son, he's doing really good. Um, was helping too, I think, and and he have his spurts of being jealous, but he does understand that they are the baby now so he says it a lot i'm not a baby no more they're the baby so we're doing good with that he's still a little rambunctious he's more so like my little tasmanian devil um michelle and i are very sleep deprived which is expected um especially with me working on my mba um also Excuse me. Also going to school for nails. Um, and working. That's my schedule. Um, Michelle works full time and she's tired. Also, um, the babies are really good. They're, they, they're not fussy. If they are, it's because... They are hungry, or they need to be changed, or they just want a little attention. So, they are very good babies. We have our good days and our bad days, of course. Now, what I will say is, honestly, I've been having some issues. And I'm only telling you this because I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat embarrassed, but... I'm going to be one, 100, 100 with you. 
I've been having complications. <coughs> Excuse me. Complications with dealing with adjustment adjusting. Um I've been diagnosed diagnosed with postpartum depression. Um it's not a easy thing for me to talk about because I think that I've experienced this possibly with all of my pregnancies, but did not know that this is what it was. But this pregnancy with my twins is a whole nother ball game. And um, don't get it twisted. I love all my kids. I love each one of them. But for some reason, my connection with the twins are a little bit different. I'm not sure, maybe because I had complications and a lot of ups and downs with this uh, pregnancy, but I'm dealing with it and I was prescribed um, medicine to take to try to make me a little bit more subtle, no anxiety, and just bursting out crying for no reason and mood swings that I really can't control and just feeling overwhelmed and always exhausted and just really wanting to lay down. I had got to the point where I wasn't Lord <sighs> excuse me y'all. I had got to the point where I wasn't eating at all. Um and I lost like 30 pounds because I was not eating and that had to, that was something else I had to deal with. Um, I just really lost my appetite. I just wanted to feed them, change them, and sleep, you know. Um, and I pretty much stayed to myself in the room with the door closed and no sunlight and I don't know it's um it's something that I'm dealing with I'm pretty sure that there are other people out there that is dealing with the same thing and but this is something that I'm working on daily and so this is why I have not been really on YouTube like this because I really don't know how to um, deal with this because this is new. It's not something that everyone would say is normal. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person out here who has postpartum depression. Um, my problem is I don't know how to deal with... Um, I don't really know how to deal with um, certain situations and I get overwhelmed fairly easy so um, I have to call and I have to call for Michelle to be a little bit you know to be more reliant on her because sometimes I just can't deal um, I can't deal with the kids I have to just I shut down um, I get dizzy, my blood pressure after, I take blood pressure medicine now just because of after the pregnancy because my blood pressure, it ranges from 200 over 100 and something, it is it's very high, so I have to take blood pressure medicine now as well, I mean, um, it's just a little complicated now in my life, but what I've learned that what I've learned and what I am learning is that I have to take a step back and realize that I'm only one person because I'm so used to taking on, I'm so used to taking on the world and I can't do that and it bothers me because I'm always portrayed as this, as this strong person and for me to be vulnerable, it's very uncomfortable for me. So... With that being said, because I'm not trying to have a therapy thing here, we are doing good. We're working di diligently, 
and I'm staying busy. The girls are beautiful. The twins. Next video I will post them, but they're in the living room and I just finished doing my MBA homework and the house is somewhat subtle. So I decided to make a video um, to let you guys know what's going on. I'm not cuckoo. I'm just human. So I think I just realized I was human and not a superhero. Um, so you guys hit me up, like, share. I definitely will respond. Um, definitely will respond if need be. If you guys feel like hitting me up, let me know if you guys ever had any issues with postpartum depression or depression or anything because this is new to me. I'm usually like the happy go lucky life of the party girl even though in my mind I have my own issues but I don't I don't let that control my life and I try to enjoy my life and so with that being said my little divas are beautiful they are growing they are healthy I'm very blessed to have three divas and a prince charming so, we're doing good over here. Everybody let me know how y'all doing. And congratulations to the new mommies and baby does to everybody who's trying. Keep your head up. It's definitely possible. If you have any questions, let me know.